Okay, so let me give you a quick tour of my little workshop here. Uh, let me preface by saying I make more than one thing, multimedia, and I'm cheap, so I improvise a lot. So, first thing I have is my shipping, or things sold online, right? So I got a big containers full of stuff that I am selling, right? Easy to access. Now, in accordance with that, I also need somewhere to package the items to ship them. I need a scale and a printer, print out labels, stuff the pack in, and a photography station with some lights. Now, back to this. We've got projects that we're working on next, right? So we got some miniature figures, then we got some shoes that we're going to paint, uh, got some bookshelves, painting those, you know, stuff we're working on next, right? So that We'll come back to this in a second. Um, to make miniature figures, I've got a 3D printer. <laughs> 3D printer inside of its own little uh, enclosure to uh, take care of uh, resin fumes. A little washing station for when they come out. Then a UV light station to cure the resin. And then got a little... Uh, cart to, you know, get my gloves and scrapers and stuff for the resin as well. That takes up one side of the room, right? Shipping takes up another side of the room. The procrastination station takes up the corner. Then we get to our kind of workshop, right? So, on, I believe it was Facebook Marketplace, there was an office closing down and they were clearing out cubicles and I got a three thousand dollar cubicle for a hundred bucks awesome right I got my shipping table from Goodwill for five bucks so anyway we've got what's required to work efficiently is you know have your place to sit and have everything else within arm's reach while you're working on something to be more efficient. Now I'll tell you what's essential for um, customizing shoes, but let me just show you everything that's going on here, right? So we've got craft paints, got our cotton swabs, cotton balls, shoe cleaner, not necessarily essential, but the cotton uh, pads or cotton balls are essential. Then we've got some of our leather paints, leather dye, um, that little scrubbies, those are essential. Hmm. Okay, and we kind of move up. We've got some more brushes and some tape and some aglets and some cleaning stuff and we got some more leather paints obviously essential for shoes uh, then I got some little leaves and brushes and stuff that I make for my miniature models to make them look nice um, and I got some oil paints and some scrub brushes or foam brushes and other little knickknacks. Those are used for creating washes. Um, got little baggies, some stencils that were previously used. Lots of stencils. Uh, okay, something I like to use is a paint pot. It's got a little wire mesh on the bottom for cleaning your paint brushes. Um, uh, easel, canvases, um, one thing that's very useful is a miniature, uh, what's it called, a detail sander to make the sanding of the shoes to go a little bit quicker. Uh, for putting vinyl on things, press and seal is what I use to get around the contours a lot easier. It's clear, you can see through it, put it on things, right? So you got glue, tape, essential, all kinds of tape. You got vinyl tape, 
crepe paper, uh, painter's tape, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, every once in a while I'll use some Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. Um, this is not for shoes, but clear coat, primer for miniatures, more clear coat. You can use this on canvas. This is Treehouse brand. Uh, of course, some more leather paint. Uh, Essential is acetone, definitely. I just picked up some more acetone. Uh, let's see. Some more paint. These are some of the projects I'm working on over here. Some miniature models. Right. Uh, I found this little makeup display in the trash and it's good for uh, holding my miniature paints as well as the miniature models I'm going to be working on soon. Also found in the trash was this other makeup display for, I don't know what it was for, but I'm throwing everything for shoes in here. So essential, paint brushes, scrub pads, um, rubbing alcohol is useful. I use brush cleaner for brushes and airbrush. Now these little bottles, you can get them on Amazon. They're soft plastic and they have a nozzle on the top. They are excellent. Get a bunch of those. And of course, you know, cotton pads, cotton swabs, essential, more cotton pads, toothpicks, essential, and some glue. Uh, Prepare into glazer. It is acetone but not as strong, so I use that for different applications. Uh, my favorite sealant is uh, Liquid Kicks Top Coat. They come in factory, matte, gloss, and flat. I use them for different things at different times. Um, duller to get the shine out of your paint. I don't use it as often. But too thin, I use it very often. And again, get, your, get yourself a nice uh, bottle there. Some GAC 200 for hard stuff. GAC 900 for heat setting in fabric. Right? Important. Um, what, too soft is the same thing as GAC 900, but you get a giant bottle for basically the same price. Right? So you get a few of them. Uh, let's see what else we got sitting here. Um, things I reach for all the time, you know, got a spare needle, got my X-Acto blades, uh, a brush for dust, X-Acto nippers, pliers, uh, some shoe goo, some epoxy, mm, basically whatever you need on hand quickly. Um, these are helpful for cleaning your airbrush. Proxa brushes, they're little for your teeth, but they kind of simulate what this little key is for cleaning your airbrush. It's the same thing, just a lot smaller so you can clean quicker. Um, then we kind of just got our paint area. Camera on a tripod so you can record whatever you're doing. Now what I like to do is, um, I found a bunch of uh, Christmas wrapping paper and just covered my desk with that so I wouldn't get paint on it and just taped it down. I can rip that off if it gets too dirty. Um, essential would be workshop lighting. Uh, what I use is a neat fi or neat fee, whatever light got three modes for brightness or you can turn it off but it's actually pretty cheap all you have to do is fasten it to your table it's a very bright white light really helps um, now non-essential but extremely recommended is an airbrush setup uh, so I'm currently using the Badger Patriot 105 uh, I find the needle is large enough to work on miniatures as well as shoes 
as well as even larger figures or even sculptures and stuff. Um, then we got the central pneumatic. I believe that is a Harbor Freight um, one fifth horsepower compressor. Um, airbrush cleaner for changing colors and cleaning out the final bits. Uh, this little rotary thing comes with the airbrush booth. You turn it on, it sucks out the air, filters it a little bit, sends it out the back into a tube, which I don't have hooked up at the moment. Um, gets rid of your particulates, you can siphon that out the window if you want. Um, then we got kind of our workstation computer, like a laptop, which I can connect to the Cameo Silhouette, which I highly recommend. You can also use a cry cut if you want to. Uh, but that's pretty much the whole workshop. The problem is, I have literally taken up the entire living room with all of my hobbies.